What's up guys and welcome to the Cletus 2 channel. I know I've been taking a lot of heat on the internet since yesterday's video where we did the Cletus and Cars event. And honestly, you guys can say whatever you want about me. I put myself in this position and I'm prepared to face the consequences. But this video is not about me. This is about Parker who took an injury, our first ever serious injury at Cletus and Cars after four years of running events. And that's what today's video is about. As many of you probably saw, I turned off the comments on last night's video. I simply to not allow people to spew untrue things about Parker, who is the subject of today's video. Now I just got off the phone with Parker and his fiance, talked to them for quite a bit, and now I'm prepared to make a statement on it. Specifically left it out of last night's video, and I actually said everyone had a safe and good time, and I meant that as a spectators. I specifically did not mention anything about Parker because I had no idea what the facts were on the situation. All I know is that I saw the incident and everyone else at the show saw the incident. There's no way I could have not just said anything and let it blow by. But now that I've spoken with Parker and Paige, I come to you guys to tell you what's going on. Now, before I get to what actually happened, I wanna say that this is our fourth year doing events and Parker has actually participated in almost all of the Bradenton, Cletus and Cars burnout competitions. We're talking about a guy who built this car himself, brings it out to almost every show, always does an awesome epic burnout. We're talking wall taps, popping tires, putting smiles on everyone in the crowd. Parker is a guy that when we see pull up, we know there's gonna be a good show. This is not his first rodeo. This is the same guy that does massive burnouts at his shop. One thing that I think it's important to say is that no matter if you race or do burnouts or drifting, if you do automotive motorsports and you do it in a crazy fashion, high speeds, high power, whatever it may be, you are going to have an incident eventually. And if you haven't had an incident yet, you haven't driven enough. I've crashed, I've seen people crash, I've seen people get burned, I've seen people break bones. It happens in this sport. The best thing you can do is be prepared for it because one day, without a doubt, something will happen. Now with Cleats and Cars, we've been doing it for four years and we've been lucky to make it this far until we've had our first incident just this last weekend that was so serious. We actually had to have a bay flight to pick Parker up and take him to the local hospital. So Parker showed up in his Fox body buggy like he has plenty of times before, started doing a ripper burnout. Now, unfortunately, the major issue with this incident is that the radiator was in the back of Parker's car. Typically, the radiator being on the front of the cars, this wouldn't have been an issue. But his radiator being on the back of the car, he was doing a massive burnout. And as you know, the coolant temperatures, they heat up and heat up and heat up. Well, it hasn't been a problem before, but unfortunately, his radiator hose separated from the radiator, blasting hot water onto his back and his arms. At this point, Parker started getting out of the car. Our guys ran over and grabbed him and immediately took him over to the EMS truck and put a burn kit on him. We always have the burn kits available because with burnouts, there's fires, there's coolant, things like that. So we've always been prepared for this moment. The burn kit was applied and EMS said, bring in the helicopter, let's take him to the hospital. So he was taken up to Tampa General. Like I said, I was able to talk to him today and here's where he's at. From the sounds of it, he's through some of the worst of it. Obviously they have to scrub you and treat the wounds right away to prevent infection, things like that. I don't know a lot about burns, but I can imagine that's one of the worst parts is the scrubbing. But the road isn't over yet for Parker. Tomorrow, he's going in for skin grafts. I believe they're doing a graft on his back and some on his arms. And then the rest of the second degree stuff, they're hoping will heal on its own. I couldn't believe the spirit that he was in when I talked to him. I mean, the only thing that he could say on the phone was, shit happens. And then when we started talking about cars, his fiance immediately butted in and said, maybe something with some body panels. Maybe something with the radiator outside the car, which I couldn't agree more with. Fortunately, Paige and Parker have already set up a GoFundMe, which will be listed in the description below. Anything you guys want to do to help him is greatly appreciated, and we'll be doing the same too. He said on the phone that in probably five or six days, he should be heading home. And I told Parker, when you're recovered and you're ready, we'd love to have you out to the Freedom Factory. We'll put you in one of our cars that has the radiator way out on the front of the car and he can burn off some tires to get himself back in the game. This is a super, super unfortunate event, man. It breaks my heart to see someone get hurt at our event. But like I said, when you do these live action motorsports, sometimes things can happen. From here forward, there's no doubt that we have to take our safety measures more serious. Everyone needs to be in a full fire suit, covered up head to toe. The more serious we take it, the more we can prevent incidents like this. We're lucky that Parker is a strong dude and is gonna get through this. And I'm gonna keep you guys updated along the way the best I can. 
Like I said, the GoFundMe link is in the description below. Anything you guys can do to help him out is greatly appreciated. I've never posted a GoFundMe link since the start of my channel, but this is obviously something I believe greatly in, and I want to help Parker as much as we possibly can. But for now, our thoughts and prayers are with Parker and his family, and hopefully we hear from them soon.